Hi guys, today I'm gonna do a quick video on ASP.NET MVC 4 Entity Framework 5.0. So to begin with, I'm gonna pick new project and I'm gonna create a MVC4 web application and the name is EF project. And I'm gonna to stick to internet application, click OK. So I'm going to show you how to do a, a database migration using new entity framework 5.0 uh, which ships which uh, released with uh, Visual Studio 2012 but here I'm using Visual Studio 2010 but I have upgraded the uh, latest entity framework version 5.0 so let's start. So here, here the IDE, the Visual Studio 2010 is setting up all the necessary assemblies and the fault structure for our application. Okay, now we can start. So the main point is you have to check, you have to go to your tools, library package manage and click package manage console. And you have to check whether the entity framework has updated to the latest version. If not, you have to update it. So the, to, to, to do it, you have to type install package entity framework it will take a fair bit of time here you can see here entity framework and you click enter and the package manager will automatically check against the uh, latest packages so it tells you in a moment whether you have the uh, entity framework file so in my case Entry framework 5.0 already installed, so you don't need to upgrade. But I reckon you would first prepared. Uh, all right. So the next step is to create a model class. So I'm going to create a new um, uh, class. So you go to model, add class, and I'm going to create a nice simple class called, called product. And this is our product class. So I'm gonna use two uh, attribute here. Okay. So we're gonna. So what I'm going to do is here now, this is our product model and I'm going to build up a database. I'm going to build up the, club, the table for our product model. So I'm going to do the entity framework code first approach. So this is called code first approach. So you first write the code, you just you first create the model and then you build the uh, and then the entity framework itself will build the uh, table structure for us. So the table schema will build the uh, entity framework from by looking at our, uh, our base class, our model class. So in this case our table name is product and we got we have two fields ID and name. So I need to make my the ID as my primary case so you just put the annotation key and this capital K and it will automatically grab the annotation uh, dot annotation class it has from dot annotations all right so we press f6 to build the class okay so build succeed so the next step is to uh, create the controller so in this tutorial you will see how MVC4 is uh, engaging with scaffolding so it, it will automatically 
create all the necessary views like edit, create, delete, detail all the views for you. So you go to controls, add and click controller. And you will see the add controller interface here. So you choose here as the store controller and choose MVC4 control with read write actions and reviews using entity frame and you choose the model class so our model class is product and you choose a data context class so in this case I'm going to add a new data context class called store uh, db and you click enter and click add now in a moment you will see how the MVC4 is scaffolding everything for you it will build the uh, necessary views and all the actions and all the uh, setup files for you. Alright, so as you can see, this is our store controller.cs, so it's derived from the controller base class, and this is our store db contact. So if you go to the uh, study big context if you go to the web config you will see there's that automatically the, the entity framework has created this study B context under this in this case it pointed to my sql express but obviously you can choose whatever the data source you want and in this case i'm going to use i'm going to stick to sql express and here the this the index details create edit and delete all the necessary action results have been created and if you go to the uh, view you will see there's the store automatically all these element has been automatically created by the entity framework so all you have to do is you press f6 to build again and what you can do is now you have to do a code now you, now you have to do the migration so our database we haven't created the uh, tables yet so our model is here product what you can do is you choose the package manager console again and you type enable migration so this will do a trick i'll show you in a moment once you click enable migrations you will notify that we have two data context uh, available so we have to give which one we are gonna we gonna start migrate so we are gonna enable migration for our the store db context class and you gonna use context type name and I'm gonna stick to this model and you press enter so you will see it will automatically create this migrations folder for you nice and simple so if you go inside you will see the configuration.cs so this is the basic uh, configuration file for the uh, database migration and when you're done with that you just do update database Alright, so if you go to the uh, SQL Express, I'm going to show you in a moment. Just bear with me. If you copy the instance of so the SQL Express, go to uh, SQL, uh, uh, SQL Server Management Studio and then you choose, you add the SQL Express. If you drill, drill it down, you will see the DB context class here so if you go down there you will see the initial catalog is the last three, three numbers are 309 and you go back there so 709 am i right yes and if you go down tables and there are no uh, tables available yet because the migration hasn't done yet so <coughs> You go back there, go to the manager, and you type 
um, add migration uh, and your table name and now it will enable the migration and now you do the changes so update database will um, migrate the whole database to your uh, SQL Express target server so now if you go there you replace and now you go to the table you will see there's a product table so if you go down you drill down to columns you will see the ID and name and that's how you do database migration and I'm gonna share with you a quick one and again as well so in order if you need in when the project goes on at some point you, you need to suppose you need to add one more or I don't know how many uh, fields so in this case we suppose we need to add another field called price so it will be decimal price alright so and if you build it but the thing is as soon as you add into the product model it won't go into your actual database so what you have to do is you have to go to the package manage package manager and you have to type again add migration and you have to type the name so you add price here price added something like that so you will see in your migration folder that newly uh, added uh, price action will imitate this uh, CS so so this that's the period number here but actually this is not the period number this is the date time stamp so you can understand by looking at this this is the 2013 and the today date and the time and we did the second uh, change after that and then it, it will it will is down by order of the time so if you go down here double click you will see there's a basically up method and down method so up method means you insert you add this column and it's an allowable false even you can set it here too so uh, and there's a down method which will drop the uh, field for you so once you add migration you all you have to do is update uh, database and this will update the uh, migration this migration into the uh, actual database so if you go there you will refresh columns and you will see that's the price as well so that's all about migration and hope you will find this as very informative and uh, very useful and if you need more help or more tutorials please uh, put your comments down in the uh, comment section and and I will do more and more uh, tutorials in future and good luck with you. Thank you.